I want to quickly ch- talk about some comedy stuff. So, my guy Chin, Chin Su Yi, or Chin Su Yi, or Chin Su Yi, however you pronounce his surname. Chin, regardless, from the Fire and the Kid, the producer, the most important person out of Fire and the Kid, even though Brendan Shaw broke this guy's neck and put him in a brace or whatever it may be, allegedly. He's still one of the most important people, I think, at TFAT K or the whole Thick Boy production universe. I think without him, that shit doesn't run. And he should be get paid. You know, I'm hoping he gets paid well. But if he's not, he should be asking for a raise because Chin is the most important person there. Besides the talent and even the talent, I think he's probably more important than him. Because without him, that they don't record podcasts. I don't think either Brian Cannon or Brendan knows how to record a podcast on their own. They need to use Chin. And Chin, I think, sometimes even posts stuff on social media for them. The, the guy's legit. He has this thing that he does where he likes to sing. I don't like it. I think it sounds horrible, in my opinion. I think he sounds absolutely horrendous. I think he sounds like he's crying. I think he reminds me, of, like I said before, even though he's Korean, he reminds me a lot of these Filipino boys I went to school with that would always kind of break dance and sing songs to their girlfriends and stuff. And it was always horrible. They always thought they could sing. They'd always have like little earrings or they'd cut a little line in their eyebrow and think they're cute and sing these horrible boys to men tunes and shit, which I absolutely hated. And it never came across the way that they thought it came across in their head. Chin's got a new tune. You pop that new tune. I haven't heard it on purpose because I want to listen to it uh, in real time with you guys. And I've got a feeling it's going to be as terrible as the last song I heard from him. And it was funny because when I when I played the last song of his on stream, I got a lot of negative comments on people saying, you're hating, he sounds g- good to me, he sounds great. So I think in general, um, opinions on singing vary a lot based on maybe what you're into. I don't know, whatever it may be. I guess it's, a, it's, a, it's an objective thing. You can't necessarily say someone's good or bad at singing, which I think is mind-blowing. I think we've all heard somebody that sounds terrible, like myself. I cannot sing to save my life. I know what my voice sounds like when I sing. And when I hear someone that can sing, I can recognize it. But I think some people just see it differently. So I've got a lot of hate comments of people that didn't like my review of his previous singing. So let's see what people think of this type of singing going forward. I don't have a lot to show for these years of hard work. <laughs> his face. <laughs> <laughs> look at his face man honestly look at my guys <laughs> oh honestly i hope brendan is fucking backing up the brink truck for him and giving him a lot of money because this guy is legitimately important to tfat k i'm i know i laugh that he's singing but when it comes to his day job he's really good at it he produces all those shows he gets stuff uploaded nothing gets uploaded without the wrong audio the audio the video is always quite on point maybe the text might be a little bit you know spliced up here and there but he knows what he's doing when it comes to uploading stuff and i hope he gets treated well in the pocket and he's kind of fully compensated because he needs to be because he's legitimately the most important person at thick boy next to brenda whatever if you walked away that whole place will come tumbling down like a house of cards look what's happened to tim Dillon. and as soon as ben avery leaves they can't get the flipping fonts correct on the new on the on the cover images the clips are mad the descriptions the clips whatever how they edit the ads together it's all mad messed up and ben was only producing one show so i don't know I'm a fan of Chins. What did say? Uh, Mike, so are you kidding? Chin sucks the producer. I don't think so. Maybe there's some panache. What what in particular don't you like about his producing Mike Lang? Because I think overall, given the amount of shows he has to produce, given who he works for, I think Chin does a good job. Could it be tighter? Probably. What would you want? The levels, what people complain about? The levels on the microphones? Sometimes like people complain about that, that they're redlining. What else is it? The camera angle maybe, but he does a lot, man, for one man team. Brendan probably employs more people in front of camera than he should be employing behind the camera there should be more people maybe helping chin out but in terms of him doing it all on his own switching the cameras checking the levels of the thing it's a lot of it's a, it's a big job look what they do at your mom's house one guy doing the camera switching right one guy i'm pretty sure it's one dude i think i forgot his name i think it's a black dude he just he just does the camera switching and the other ones handle everything else in there but chin does everything he's on the he's on the board he's changing the cameras before he was and he was kind of checking social now obviously it's bgl slipping thing to do or no sorry um what's her name cat was checking checking the social so it's a lot he does everything all on his own everything legitimately on his own well, saying uh, Mike Lang said he's always wrong late on clips he's lost and his takes and his takes is always horrible yeah, you don't really tune in to if you're a fan of Brendan, you don't tune into his show to hear Chin's opinion on stuff, innit? Fair enough. If you think he's late on clips and don't like it, fair enough. But I, th- I think he does a good job, personally, for me. And I think he should keep getting paid a lot. 
of course he's not a young Jamie. Come on, no one's saying he's a young Jamie. But Chin, for what's for the for his working environment, he should be getting compensated. I'm not gonna budge from that point. If you don't like his quality of his work, fair enough. But still, given everything he's had to go through and suffer with, he should be getting paid a lot more. Personally, in my opinion. And I've got a feeling Brendan doesn't pay well. This is my opinion. I, he may pay, but he doesn't pay well. reading the lyrics like in real time he doesn't even know the lyrics to the song like I got the couple of lost notes there a bit wrong there oh what's little brow saying what's that you'll be will you be my stepdad ha oh, ha ha this this is next level they're saying next level let's get a recorded version what so you can play that to your wife as she's going to sleep you should be put in prison for that, mate. Another person, always hot with vocals. Miss you, Chin. John and I are ready to fish or go shooting soon. It's a friend, okay. I hate people do this when they people clout chase in comments when you're well known. To let people know, hey, I know you personally. Like, text him this, isn't it? Like, chill. Or DM him. Chin, your voice is so beautiful. Wow. See, it's only me then. I guess I'm the hater. Little Browse with a flame emoji and a comment. So he double dips on the comments there. Fishing for his clout as well. Dude. Play at Summer summer Bummer 2023. What is that? I don't know. Another job killing it. Flame emoji. This is like a black person. Oh, no, it's not. A lot, a lot of non-blacks here that like that kind of singing. I wonder why. <laughs> you the truth. Play and sing a corrido mi chin. Cool. I guess it's just me. I guess it's me, and I guess it's me who doesn't like it. But talking about other people that I don't like, they're singing. Do you guys remember when Lex started singing? Lex went on Joe Rogan and written a song. Do you remember? Let's play this. Let's see what Lex sounds like in comparison to Chin, because I forgot what this sounded like. Actually, get in your own head, man. Let it go. See, hey, look to him. <laughs> like he was singing to a girl. <laughs> he gave that look like, like you're going to, hey, watch out. You're going to get wet. <laughs> Do you see how he looked at him? Look. Let it go. Look, look how he looked up at him. Look, you're going to get wet. <laughs> He's like, you ready? <laughs> you better bring. <laughs> Did you bring him up? <laughs> look at his face. Look at him. He's ready to jump on Joe. Like, look, you ready? <laughs> oh, Joe's got the candles on as well. Like, oh my god, this is incredible. My granddad was a soldier. On the front in 41. Oh, singing in that accent is tough, isn't it? On the front, it's 41. I hit like, what? <laughs> you know, he should sing. He should sing. The Jews will not replace us. That's what he should be singing. <laughs> Oh, Kanye will not replace us. Kanye will not replace us. The bullets took his brothers, but his stubborn luck held on. The sky was filled with fire. <laughs> Millions lost in flame. Hate and love were all there, and the world never. Same. Yo, this sounds like this sounds like um white spoken word, isn't it? You know that there's what's that what's that thing? What's that deaf comedy jam? What's that thing where black people do where it's like 
and you're like you're like kind of rapping and you're doing poetry what's that thing called man is it beat poetry or something this is like the white version of it and i told my mum that she was being a greedy bitch i left that chicken in the fridge so i could have it on the beat. you know it's that kind of bullshit like what <laughs> This isn't a song. <laughs> this is like a TED talk over a guitar, isn't it? That's it. Sl Some... Slam poetry. That's it. Scat, mate. Yeah, slam poetry. That's what it is. <laughs> this is horrible. The days will sink in sadness and the way of them to talk. Don't lose yourself. To Yo, madness. this is sucks, man. Boo. 2002. 100 upvotes like thumbs up mate people actually like this you know it's just honestly i'm i might be the hater i might be the one that's don't see the vision here oh what's the title here lex performs a song inspired by his veteran grandfather nah joe <laughs> lex is trying to get in that ass he's not singing that for his grandfather he's <laughs> he's singing that for your ass brother he wants to get into that rogan bussy the way out is love The New York towers crumble. We were all New Yorkers too. For a moment, all <laughs> when the bridge fell in Ukraine, I thought Putin had a point. <laughs> when those bombs landed in Poland, I automatically blamed the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Just human, <coughs> not the same old red or blue, and the wicked will go on scheming for the power and the pain. But the heart that longs for freedom is a fire they'll never tame. Yo, 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 you just said that, Uche. You were just thinking what I was, you just said what I was thinking in my head. The camera pans over to a white dude in dress playing the bongos. This legitimately sounds like every single time I've been in a hostel, and I've been to plenty of hostels around the world, there's always, always hostels and sometimes bars as well but usually bars are rare nowadays because someone tell you to shut the fuck up but in every hostel around the world doesn't matter if you're in a metropolitan place or, uh, a countryside somewhere in the middle of a farm there's always one guy sitting in the corner playing guitars for the flipping you know ditzy eyed young foreign girls that are popping in and they're all guys whoever he's into to try and impress them and they're always terrible they're never good they always got flipping stories to tell most of them lies and they're always playing these dead out songs on there it's hilarious man that archetype it exists everywhere some days will sink in sadness the way of them to talk don't lose yourself to madness <laughs> he's got no source where's the beat to this where's the beat where's the rhythm what is this man it's just like it's terrible you I'd, I'd prefer if he just got in here and sung like uh and sung a song that's already been made and just tried to maybe maybe make that a tribute to his granddad or something this song he wrote sucks mate honestly it sucks so bad the way how is love The virus took our comfort. <laughs> he sung about COVID. <laughs> the virus took our comfort, but it brought me closer to Joe. And now I'm trying to off his wife. <laughs> so I can be his cup of Joe. <laughs> This fucking guy is singing about the COVID virus. Isn't that meant to be about his dad, his granddad? <laughs> there was never ours to own. When the enemy is inside us, we're together but alone. This life is so damn fragile, a leaf caught by the wind. But every what a <laughs> laugh is so fragile a leaf car but oh i don't even want to break down the lyrics is this on genius i wonder if it's on genius tragic ignites a hope within some days will sink in sadness the way of them to talk don't lose yourself to madness the way out is love 
absolutely sucks mate the way out is to flipping wrap that guitar around your throat so you don't sing again brother that's the way out there but hey god almighty man what a horrendously terrible song i don't know who's worse he just played automatically this guy or flipping lex i don't know what's worse i don't know what it is i really don't know what's worse i don't know it's just you know that's saying what's worse getting slapped in the face or getting punched in the nuts both equally as bad um <laughs> oh man i just love the way that lex was looking at joe bruv like